Thanks to the wonderfulness of the internet, the code, I googled the code for the uh, door here, and it's 1234, if you can believe it. So, I didn't have to hack that. This guy's got no freaking TV. See if he's got anything in here. No, empty closet. Marilyn, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Man, I gotta hack this, though. This sucks. Got it. Malik, looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior. He threatened <laughs> to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I. I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. Oh, I gotta look? Still look? Wow. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby. Can't wait to see you today. But I'm stuck at work. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'll pick it up too, baby. I promise. I'll meet you at the high book. Okay? okay, got it. Good. Don't get the party started without me. I want you all to myself tonight. The hive? I should have guessed Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute. You heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. What? Like what? Yeah, check the man's bathroom, too. Use the man's bathroom. Oh. Mallet, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe they washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. So I didn't notice that the first time I came in the bath. I think you've gotten everything, buddy. I don't think there's much else to find here. But they want me to find more. 
Uh, I don't see anything else. Is there something I'm not seeing? Oh, here we go. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Deus Ex L.A. Noir. What the hell of a stretch? You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. <laughs> we need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I don't will find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Cool. I'll just do the go the long way here. Climb down. Apparently I could have just went out through there, but whatever. Don't really care. <sighs> there better be an achievement in this for all this crap I'm doing. This is just going back and forth, pretty much, to places I've already been in. Dude, you forgot the watch. Watch, man. Dude, get out of my way. Dude, move. Mr. Tom probably gets the best of everything. Or at least he makes sure no one else does. Come on, dude, move. Thank you. God. I thought I had to freaking shoot him. I bet this is him. Here he is. What do you want, grown boy? What do you call me? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. And, man, this all. I already told all you knuckles all the way to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck do you want? 
a simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half bullshit. When you got shit on me, Darko, I need to pay you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why is that? Here. Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does her testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. Uh, yeah. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident. And the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? Ah, that's a problem. Was it the baseball bat or the clock? I'm gonna say the clock. By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation, something to fuel your violent outburst. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She wanted out of the relationship, she told you she was pregnant. She went out of the relationship. She was done with you. But you couldn't handle her rejection, so you hit her. It was just a little too hard. Give me a break. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? I think it was Bell Tower, was it? Your family's sizable investments in Bell Tower assured they would turn a blind eye to any of your run-ins with the law, no matter how serious. All right, Darko. I heard enough of your bullshit. You got a lot of balls coming in here, blackmailing me, and trying to accuse me of murder. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm the only thing standing between you and life in prison, so you better start paying up. And how about you? Pay me. Do not kick your fucking ass, hmm? How about that, fucking white boy? Get the fuck out of here, Narco. I'm done with you and your shit. Waste my damn time. Crap, I gotta reload. Yeah. Let's reload that. <laughs> 